Rene, playing against Arsenal, you know exactly what you're going to get in terms of the quality that they have on the pitch and the way that they pass the ball and play football. The result against Sunderland would have put Fulham into 11th, 12th place in mm. the league. How much pressure, therefore, is on the game at the Emirates Stadium? Or is it a game that you go to because it's the top of the table leaders that there is no pressure? Well, there is sort of pressure, but I think you, you, the last thing and the worst thing you can do is is to exaggerate that pressure and focus all only on that pressure. It only makes everybody insecure and, 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 and make people play with fear, you know, and that is never the right answer. Fear is the worst ally you can have in your team. I think as a manager of a Premier League team, any Premier League team, you always need to prepare your team to get something out of the game. And you know in teams against, you know, the top four, it's going to be more difficult than the teams around you. You know, uh, and, and I will repeat myself, it was very, very disappointing that we let that Sunderland result slip away from us. It makes us even more aware of the fact that we are. We cannot take any games for granted. But the Premier League is as such as well that teams that are there or thereabouts at the bottom will suddenly pick up points against teams in the top four who don't expect it. So we need to go there with, with, with confident, confident in ourselves that if we are well organised, if we are doing the right things, we should have we should have all the confidence to get something out of the game. As you know, and that's where we that's the idea where we go to Arsenal with, and not just say that well we played against Arsenal and they're that good, and you know, it never works like that. You rested a number of players for the game in midweek. Are there likely to be any changes due to notable performances that came out of that game? I'm not asking you to tell us the team, but no, but but I think it was for everybody to say that. You know, for the two performances, and you know, the, in the recent weeks, that the goals that have, I want to address that, and 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 it all comes down with having personnel available or not. Now we've got obviously Blair the back, you know, and um, <clears throat> Kieran has obviously come back from an injury as well, and he played on Tuesday. So there are different ways of looking at it. We need to make sure really that we're going to get more of those results on the score sheet, more clean sheets, because clean sheets will keep us up simple as that so that's going to be very important for us I will look at that <clears throat> and like I said you need to have a, a sort of a plan A and plan B in, in place anyway so the subs are equally important than the starting 11 and in terms of Breda because he wasn't 100% fit from the beginning of the season he must almost be like a, a new signing yeah yeah. no but for me it is and he feels good you know it's always uh, it's always a bit of a waiting to see how people come out of that but he came out really really well and yes it does you know make me consider to see well okay what is the best sort of uh, lineup and you always need to have some sort of a plan a and plan b you know the game starts where we are where are we after 30 minutes after 45 minutes and obviously i know better you know as being a player in the opposing team for many many years and i've had a lot of respect for him and and one of the qualities of i've always uh, respected him for is his calmness you know he's in there and when he sometimes gets the ball he doesn't rush and that <sighs> transfers into other players so players just make better decisions really so they know they're comfortable they can give him the ball back to him he makes the right decision you know what I mean so that was really good to see and with Dan Byrne particularly his home debut was a, a great performance for him absolutely again and, and I wasn't surprised at all for me not at all because Dan did extremely well in the away game which is even more trickery you know away and but it, it shows that how how well the loan period at Birmingham has worked for him uh, you know and, and a job that Lee Clark has done with him you know away uh, in Birmingham so it's good but all the reasons to keep him here you know to to train with us for me to have a better look at him uh, to what he's made of and that's why I was um, I had no hesitation to 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 play him last Tuesday and um, <clears throat> you know it's a good addition to the squad Transfer speculation rife, obviously, at this time of year. Is there anything that you can tell us about players in, players out? No, unfortunately not. There's nothing I can add. We wish you luck at the Emirates. Thank you.